today I'm going to show you how to make these fingerless gloves. We're outside today, the weather is gorgeous, so I thought I'd sit outside where we could get some good light. It's got the scalloped edge, so it really looks cute with a puff stitch hat that we've done in the past. So you could make a set for someone, which is a really cute gift, and they work out really fast. I'm using the same yarn that I used for the hat, which is the Vanna, Vanna's Choice um, in the white, and we're using a size I crochet hook, or 5.5 millimeter. So to begin, we're going to start with our slip knot, and so we just fold the tail over, flop the loop over, and then we're going to pull that up with our hook, pulling down on the two tails, and that gives us our slip knot. We're going to chain 26 stitches, so this is the first one on our hook. That's two three, four, five, so that's 26. Now we're going to make sure that this chain is laying flat. We're going to form a ring, so bringing it around, making sure that it's straight. We're going into the very first stitch and we're going to slip stitch. So going into that, wrapping our hook and grabbing it, pulling it through and pulling it through. So making sure that your chain is not twisted. Now we're going to chain three, so that's one on our hook, two, three, and that counts as our first double crochet in every row. So now we're going to double crochet in each stitch and we're going to have a total of 26 when we're finished. And the double crochet is wrapping our yarn, going into the stitch or the chain at this point, wrapping and pulling up a loop so that we have three. Wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So wrap your yarn, go into the stitch, Wrap your yarn, pull up a loop. Wrap your yarn, pull through two. Wrap your yarn, pull through two. That's the double crochet. And we're gonna do this for the entire row. So work your way all the way around. This is my 26 double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain, which is right here in order to finish off this row, or this round. Now we're going to chain three, it's one on our hook, two, three, and now we're going to do front post and back post double crochet. Now this is the same stitch that we used for our belly button dog sweater. So we're going to wrap our yarn around the hook, and we're going to begin with this exact same that our chain is coming out of the same post or that double crochet right there. So you see it's right below it, this one right here. So we've wrapped our yarn. We're going to go down and around. So we're bringing the post to the front. Wrapping your yarn, pulling it up, and you're just going to double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two. So that's a front post. That pulls the post to the front. Now for the next stitch, you do a back post. So you're going to alternate front post and back post. And this gives you this ridged edge that looks like um, a knitted stitch. So now for the back post, we've wrapped our yarn around our hook. We're going to go behind and coming up, we're pulling that post to the back, wrapping our yarn and pulling up the loop so that we have three wrapping, pulling through two, wrapping, pulling through two. Again, a front post, wrap our yarn, going behind the post, see how we're going behind, and pulling it up to the front, wrapping, pulling up a loop, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. 
Now we're doing the back post, so we're wrapping our yarn, going from behind and pulling that post to the back. Wrap, pulling up a loop so that we have three. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap, pull through two. So that's your front post and your back post double crochet. And you're going to do this entire row the exact same way. Alternating, doing front post and then a back post double crochet.